What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate, and we're talking about Planner, and we're going to look at a Planner action called Add Assignees to a Task. So what is Add Assignees? This action allows you to take any, any, any task that's inside of your Planner and allows you to assign an attendee, you know, assign a, a user to that task. So you can do this at the time that you're creating a task, but this one allows you to specifically just assign um, one or multiple users to that uh, to that task. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here, and I have a manual trigger flow. If I click on New Step, and then in the search bar, if I type Planner, if I can spell it properly, choose Planner, and then this one here says Add Assignees to a Task. So I can click it, and it's only asking me for two things. So one thing to note is it's not asking me for my environment and it's not asking me for my uh, my group or my plan that I've made. What this is going to do is it's going to look through all the tasks that you have access to inside of your environments. So that's one thing to be aware of. So, in, so there's two required inputs here. There's task ID and there's assigned user IDs. So in the task ID, you do have a drop down, and this is actually going to look at um, the tasks that you've got. So I've got two tasks in there. I've got this one that says test task that with nobody assigned to it. So if I choose that, and then in the uh, assigned user IDs, uh, I can just go to my clipboard and pull out my email address. And that's all I need. So you can use your, you can use semicolon separated email addresses, or you can use um, semicolon separated uh, Azure Active Directory IDs as well. Now, before I test this, I'm just going to flick over to Planner and show you what I've got. So this is the task that we're looking at, test task with nobody assigned. You can see the assignee is blank there, uh, and that's and there's no one assigned to it. So if I go back to Power Automate, uh, I can save and test this. So if I click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, save and test, run the flow, click done, and we just need to wait for this page to update. So what this is going to do, it's going to go off, it's going to find the task and it's going to add an assignee so we can see it's run successfully, that's all good. Click, click back to Planner. The one thing I did notice about Planner is that it doesn't really refresh um, properly uh, in the browser, so um, sometimes you need to open it or just refresh the browser. So what I do is I'm actually going to go to another page and come back to it. Uh, we may just need to refresh the page. Uh, and go back to assignees. There we go. So yeah, it, it is a little finicky in browser. There is a fantastic app that you can get for this uh, that you can embed uh, into uh, Teams, which is where I tend to use it. Uh, but you may just need a, a refresh of the browser. But we can now see that it's now assigned to Matt Collins, uh, my maiden name, and we can see it in here. Um, so that is an assignee. Now, one thing you can also do is you could uh, potentially update these things as you're going along. So, if I go back to Planner, if I insert a step before this and click Add Action and type Planner, uh, click on Planner and click on Create a Task. So, uh, Group ID. So, I'm just going to create a task in that same group. So, uh, I'm going to put this. The title is going to be uh, this is a test task from flow with nobody assigned to it. Uh, and then we're not going to put in an, uh, an assignee here. Now, now that I've got that, I can actually say, okay, I want to assign a user to that. Now, the reason I'm kind of doing it this way is just to show you that you, you can do this, um, but um, there is obviously a, a, a field here that says assign user IDs, so you can assign users at the same time. Uh, I'm thinking if you're you need to create a certain number of tasks and then maybe look at um, people's availabilities um, and then uh, and pull those availabilities through and then use those later on in flow. You can um, in the flow you can then you know do this dynamically, uh, but this is just to show you. So once you create the task, fine. If I expand the assignees thing, I can um, click this and I can actually hit enter trust and value. So it removes the uh, removes the option from the option set there. And if I ta uh, type in is it task or is it ID, ID. So it's this one here, ID, the ID of the task. 
I can put that in there. Um, and then that's what that's going to do is it's going to take that task, it's going to use that task ID and it's going to assign this user to that task. So let's test it and take a look. So click on test, I'll perform the trigger action, run the flow, click done. Flow runs successfully, so we create the task. So it's called this is a, ta a test task from flow with no no void assign, assignee to it. Uh, I'm terrible at typing today, so uh, it's all good. We'll flick over to Planner, and there we can see my badly titled um, task there. This is a test task flow with no assigned to it. We can see it is assigned to someone, and we can see it's been created. So you can do it all in multiple steps. So if you needed to have inputs from different points, um, or as I say, you know, you can do these things where you can check people's availability before assigning them tasks. Uh, this is a handy way to actually use that um, use that functionality. So I hope this video is useful. Uh, if it was, uh, if you could like this video and share it with your friends, it's much appreciated. Um, if you use these things, uh, let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter or on LinkedIn about how you use this sort of stuff. Uh, I'm always interested. Um, if you've not already, please hit subscribe on my YouTube channel. Uh, I've just got to 500 subscribers, which is a great motivator for me to keep on going and keep making videos like this. So any, uh, any support would be appreciated. Uh, and I'll see you next time.